Ramsey, I mean DDS here. This is some cool stuff. What you're seeing here is 3D imaging and 3D fabrication of upper and lower dental implant bridges. The lower left is my virtual x-ray planning on a 3D CBCT, which the bone shows, and that allows me to make uh, surgical guides to place the implants accurately. This is a double arch case. Final restoration is going to be fixed zirconia, upper and lower. There are six implants in the upper. You can see by those black little posts that are representing the implants. They're placed in the back of the jaw on the upper. She had bilateral sinus grafts and has no bone in the front of her mouth under the nose. She has a very uh, big overbite. So what we're doing in this virtual planning stage is my lab technician and I are going through each phase of treatment, figuring out where the center of her teeth are, how far forward should they be, what should the gums look like, how should they transition into the bone, how many teeth are we fabricating on the bridge, how big is the cantilever, uh, and a number of other factors. She has an overbite, so the plan is also to push her lower front teeth out in a, a further direction forward so that she does not have the overbite as much anymore. You can see with teeth removed, the shape of the gum, that will allow us to colorize, find the proper pink tissue, make all the triangles of gum, the papillas proper. On the x-ray, you can see the six dental implants on the upper jaw, placed approximately in the sinuses region. And on the lower jaw, they're placed between the mental foramen, or basically in the bottom of the jaw in this area over here, at a purposeful tilted angle on the bottom ones. On the uppers, we can see that that's really critical for speech and how your upper lip is supported. If you don't have any teeth at all, those your lip will actually fall in. So how the teeth are put in space is important to see, well, do we need your lip to come forward, backwards? How do you speak? Can you say S's and L's and TH and F sounds properly? You can see the implants, the yellow part, coming through the jaw here. And on the bottom, they are purposely angulated backwards on the lower right and left far uh, back most implants. That upper right image is what's called the verification jig. It, it basically verifies that my digital molds or regular molds are accurate, that everything is going to fit passively. So when we get time to make temporaries, because we almost always transition through temporaries, to see how the patient's jaw does, how their lip support, can they chew, can they reproduce the same bite over and over, do they look nice, does their smile match into the frame of their lips. These are all so many factors when you're replacing a body part, which is upper and lower teeth or, and gums, is a big part of, of your whole body. So this is a little peek into how I do things on every single case. It is important that it's designed properly so that it lasts and it's strong. And it's really just an awesome way to do things and really is today's dentistry. Thank you so much.